Hi guys, so um, I'm doing a beauty bubble right now and at the end I'm going to do what's on my iPhone because I am. So I have a little beauty bubble to do. Action videos like lipstick collection or like lip products. Like I could do like lipsticks and lip gloss and lip stains and stuff and like a blush, eyeshadow, you know, stuff like that. Also, like when I get to a thousand subscribers I'm going to do a share the love. Um, like girls under um, a thousand. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so you're going to see an upcoming haul. I don't know if it's already up. I got the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Glow Foundation. It's, like, a little too dark for me, though. There's, like, bubbles in it. But when I blend it with the Revlon Custom Creations, which is a little too light for me that Lindsay gave me, they're, like, perfect. So I'm going to do a little of that right now. Like, I'm blending the, like, the teeniest amount of it. So there's a little of the Revlon one. You can see, like, next to my face, it's a little too light. I've worn the Revlon one before, once or twice, and I wore it in a tutorial. And then here's the Neutrogena one, because the shade lighter was too light. I'm just doing a little mixing on my hand. So I kind of just mix them in there. Really good when I mix them. Of course, it's on my hand, but if when I wear foundation, I'm just going to try to mix them and see how that works. So This one is SPF 20. I don't think this one is SPF. Oh, this is SPF 15, so... Maybe mixing them will add SPF. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, it was the... I'm trying to save the rest because like half in the sample thing. It's the Pureless. The Pureless. Um, Essential Daily Moisturizer. Now, the moisturizer I use every day is the Clean and Clear Morning Glow. This has SPF 15. This has SPF 30. So, I don't know. I really like this. I have to find out how much it like costs. And also, this one makes my face shiny here. I love putting things on my hands to show you guys. Okay. It also, this one smells more sunscreeny, the clean and clear one does. And it feels like more like separating and like grainy on your hands. And the Peerless one doesn't like have a scent, which is, I like. So I'll put this one up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to like really see either of them, but the Peerless one is, really doesn't have a scent, it doesn't feel grainy, and it has more SPF. And this one feels like you're just putting on sunscreen, this one feels like you're putting on moisturizer so I like this one better and it's for sensitive skin I think so yeah it's good it is good I've been trying to like use my samples and not just let them go to waste and then if I like my samples I'm going to talk about them in a video like I didn't get those sent to me for free or anything these are just for my mylan bag but I'm just like trying to use them and let you guys know about them if I like them because like I get samples from Sephora when I order like these are clinic samples and Beauty Insider Samples, I have a box of lip gloss. So I just want to try them out and let you guys know what I think about them because if I like them, then I'm probably going to go purchase the full size and I want to let you guys know about them because you guys might want to purchase them. I'm just like talking to you guys about my samples. Here. Yeah, I have like a drawer dedicated to samples like Lindsay does. But I also keep brochures in there. I'm just pulling this full sample drawer out. I'm just going to turn this into like a sample drawer video. Like a beauty blah blah, what's on my iPhone and sample drawer video. How about that, guys? Okay, so I'll show you what's in my sample drawer. What's in my sample drawer? Okay, this is my video. What's in my sample drawer? So this is a Derm Store like gift card thing that came in my um, my lamp. But it was like spend fifty dollars, get twenty five dollars off, so it's like fifty percent off. This is like the my lamp card that came in March's my lamp. It tells you what's in it. Um, this is February. It's just like a my lamp business card. This is this little brochure from Clix Makeup Brushes. I like to keep brochures. This is a $100 gift card for new me. Um, but you have, to, like, all the stuff I can buy is over $100. So I think I'm going to give it to Pink and Sparkles 101 because she wants it. No, that was not, sorry, that wasn't the Derm Store thing. This is the Derm Store gift card. That was, that was like, a brochure about Derm Store. Uh -huh. This is something about Kara Color because I got something from them in my mic land. And this is what was in my February My Glam. It's like bronzing foundation thing from Caracolor, I think. No, not Caracolor. I don't know what this is. Let me read you guys. It's in my, it was in my, what's, it's in a haul coming up, but whatever. I'll just show you guys. It's, it's by Murad. And I don't really want to wear this as like a foundation because it's too bronzing, but maybe I'll like use it as a highlighter in the summer. I have a mini Buxom, um, Ellie Saab 
perfume. Betsy Johnson, too too many perfume. Hope in a jar sample. Um, like a Clinique de aging solutions to things. I, I don't need de aging stuff, Clinique. X Out Shine Control from February's My Lamb. Burberry Body, the stuff I was just talking about. The moisturizer I was talking about. Um, Care Color for all hair types. Leave in treatment. I have to try that. I'm going to try this stuff soon. Eye Lift Protector and a mini mask. I love using my mask. Um, my, my beauty bottles tend to usually be longer, so I have one other drawer I want to share with you guys. Like, you guys saw these drawers in my makeup collection, but I want to, like, actually show you what's in them. My cute packaging drawer. Some packaging I just can't let go of. So I'm going to show you. My, my, my mini Buxom lip gloss packaging. I just thought this was cute. I don't know. I probably should throw some of this away, but this one I don't even really know why I kept. I'm just like a packaging hoarder or something. I don't know. It's like a mini DKNY box. What do I think I'm going to do with this stuff? Like oh, This tells you how to use it. Oh, twist and lift up. See, I can't figure out how to use my mini DKNY. It says like you twist and lift up, but you like pour it on. I think you like, I've been taking it like a little, pouring a little on my fingers and just like rubbing it on. Okay, this one I love. It's my Harajuku Lovers. Little. My Fresh Sugar Rose. My Fairy Drops Scandal Queen. Looks like Las Vegas, you know. This is limited edition MAC packaging, so I'm not going to throw this away. I've never throw all, I would never throw away limited edition MAC packaging. This is another limited edition MAC packaging. It is from the Viva Glam Make Me Stick. Then this is Philosophy um, Much Mistletoeing. It's so cute. I have more packaging in my closet, but um, it's like too big to keep in here. I should probably put this in my closet too because it's pretty big. And then I have something just fell. I, mean, I should probably get rid of this. It's not like super cute, but it's small. Whatever. Same with the fresh one. It's not like adorable, but it's like a pretty cute pattern. Then I have my Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. I couldn't do this way. I just think it's like artwork almost on packaging. And then this is my another buxom one. It's not that cute, but I, I just think it's like a design and they took time to make a packaging, so I don't want to throw it away. This is my Finding Mr. Bright one. It has like a mirror inside. I don't know if I'm ever going somewhere like a I don't know, I feel like I could keep this in my purse with like a couple little necessities almost. I feel like I'm going to find a use for it, so I don't want to throw it away. I'm like a packaging hoarder, like I said. I keep my packaging. The cute ones. I don't know, maybe like, like for a birthday present I could package something with this. I feel like I'm just going to find a need for this. So there's no reason to throw it away. But... Some of you guys might do the same thing. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy. So, yeah. Okay, now for the what's in my iPhone part, because I stalled for too long. My iPhone's actually, like, charging in my computer right now, but it has 19% battery. What time is it? I've been filming for, like, 10 minutes at least already. My iTunes is jumping up because my phone was just plugged in. What up? So right now it is 10.08. Um, it says, love, laugh, live. Yeah. There is the amount of battery I have, and there is no service, and there is Wi-Fi. So that's the inside of my phone. On my background, I'll, like, go through my pictures, I guess, and show you, like, some of my pictures, and then you can see my background. This is going to be a long video. I'm just warning you guys, but. So on the bottom, my phone is actually jailbroken because I have my phone on T-Mobile. Um, it had to be jailbroken to put it on T-Mobile because I have an iPhone 3GS, and yeah. My phone case is a Hello Kitty one. It's from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link the link down below. If I forget, just remind me, and I'll be more than happy to. It was it was really cheap. It was like $3. It's a really good phone case, in my opinion. I mean, it's like kind of part of it's broken, I think. Yeah, here. It's like, but it like supports my phone pretty well, so that's good. Okay, so I'll just go across and show you. I have Calendar, Camera, YouTube, Safari, App Store, Maps, Contacts, iTunes, then a folder called, oops, I just opened Twitter on accident. 
closed Twitter. Then a folder called Utilities. And then in there there's Clock, Calculator, Compass, Voice Memos, Stocks, Notes, Settings, Weather, Cydia, which is like jailbroken, Winter Board, which is another jailbroken thing. Here, I'll zoom in a little on the phone. Um, dictionary and Timer. I just have Dictionary for um, school. She zoomed in. And Timer, my friend um, came over to play, and she was sleeping over, and she was practicing her clarinet, so I was like timing her for 20 minutes. So, yeah. And I have Productivity, and I have eBay, Shazam, Emoji, Movies, Hot Look, um, Countdown, and I have an IMATS Countdown, which I'm opening. Also, I have Facebook and Instagram usually in there, but my brother deleted them, I think, but he won't admit to it, so I actually have to go re-download them right after this. And there's three months, six days, 22 hours, 19 minutes, and 49 seconds to IMATS. Well, now there's less seconds, but yeah. And then I have Color Splash, Fonto, and Frametastic. Okay, then I have games. I have Doodle Jump, Sally Spa, Ninja Jump, Mash Light, Pappy Jump, a uh, Pappy Jump, no, Pappy River. There's a game called Pappy Jump too. Spin Art, um, Game of Life, um, Snail Mail, Backgrounds, HP Spells, Sky Burger, and Temple Run. These games are a mixture of free games and paid games. Then I have a folder called More Games, which has Pocket God, Moron Test, Game Center. Fruit Ninja, Tiny Tower, which I do not know how to play, but everyone told me to get it, and it draw free. Then I have food games, which is Cake Doodle, Candy Doodle, Cupcakes, Cakes Holiday, More Buffet, More Grilling, More Pizza, More Cookies, More Pie, More Salads, Sundays, More Toast, and those are all $1. Okay, now I'm just going to show you some of my pictures. Oh, I also have, like, iPod. Oh, down there I have phone, messages, iPod, mail, Twitter, and I actually only have my... YouTube email on there because my regular email is an iCloud email that Rihanna set up for me because she has the iOS 5 update, but I can't have that because I have, it's a long story, but I only have my YouTube email on my phone. I just wanted to share that for no reason. I'll read you some of the singers I have on here, then I'll show you pictures. Actually, I'll read all of them. I have Adele, Avril Lavigne, Bad McDevil, Beyonce, Britney Spears, Bruno Mars, Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato, Drake, Eminem, Glee Cask, Gym Class Heroes, Jay-Z, Bono, The Edge, and dot, dot, dot. It doesn't say the rest. It was like one of the Hope for Haiti Now songs when there was the earthquake in Haiti. Um, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber and Ludacris, Katy Perry, Kesha, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, and Kobe O'Donnell. I think it is. It like, cuts off. Lauren Elena, Nicki Minaj, Rachel Crow, Rihanna, Tayo Cruz, and Drevin McCoy, Taylor Swift. Okay. And then I'll just show you some of my pictures. Because, why not? Oh, this is a picture I took for Instagram. It was um, of the, like, OCC counter they have. Well, not, like, counter, like, the OCC area they have at my hair salon. So I got my hair cut yesterday. Oh, I didn't, like, say this yet really in a video, I don't think. I got my hair cut, like, an inch and a half, two inches yesterday. Um, yeah, it's I kind of like it. I don't know. It was, like, to there, and now it's, like, to there. I think she cut off, like, a little more than I wanted, but it's okay. I have layers, too, but... You can't see them that well. So, yeah. Okay. Um, those are some girls from Dance Moms. Chloe, Paige, and Maddie. You'll know if you watch Dance Moms who I'm talking about. These are just, I make, like, what's called edits. So, it's, like, a, a Rachel Crow. It's, like, a collage. Rachel Crow is a singer I like. Um, uh, me. <laughs> The My Lamb logo. This is gonna take too long if I go through every picture. Oh, I got like a little mini shout out in Ruben S3's video because she answered my question um, from Twitter. So yeah, me. I want to do some Hunger Games thing, but I don't really know. So I have like a a video of fire. People are talking in the background. Um. My gymnastics medal. Oh, this is in my background. Me, after my Taylor Swift tutorial. Me at Disneyland with Lindsay and Michaela. Another one. Me, Ellen Blair. Um, another one of my collages. Sorry, this is taking forever. My dog. Me and Rihanna. It's like a tiny chat picture.